one. Yo, what's up, guys? And I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be ranking the wide receivers on their effectiveness, their skill, and their confidence. Let's get to it. Antonio Brown, A tier. Great receiver, works well. Only problem is he's got a very big ego, and that can sometimes get in the way of his playing abilities. That is probably why he left the Steelers in the first place. Otherwise, amazing. Adam Thielen, we're going to also drop him in on that A tier. Getting off to a great start here. Thielen and, and Brown are both very good wide receivers and have helped their team go to new heights. I'm going to put the guy, I can't remember his name. He's going to be dropped in at a solid C tier. The Bengals haven't really done much with their wide receiver game, but that is also partially because of the fact that, you know, Andy Dalton isn't the spring chicken he once was. Just to be clear, let's, I not rename these, but just tell you what these mean. Elite, above average. This is elite, this is 100% almost perfection. Elite, above average, average, below average, just bad. And the Eagles wide receiver. I can't remember this guy's name for some reason. I'm going to drop him here to B tier. Great guy. He works well, plays well, and he's just all around outstanding. Brandon Cooks. Drop him in at that B tier as well, not A tier. Works well, plays well, same thing as number 17. Randall Cobb, C tier. He's been working well, but he hasn't really been fitting in. Diggs can go into a nice B tier. From with that catch against the Saints, I'm sorry for Cameron, but he was just amazing and stellar. Now Baldwin can also go dropping in at a B tier and an above average. And he is good because of his skills and agility. Now Larry Fitzgerald's gonna go into a C tier. He's running low on his contract deal hasn't, hasn't really, really putting himself up there, you know? Now the wider Jarvis Landry. A tier. Great guy. He's a great quarterback, not quarterback, wide receiver. And with Aunt, with Odell Beckham with him, it should be easier. Speaking of Odell, we got ourselves an A tier. You know what? I'm going to move you to an S tier. This is an attitude. And then Julio Jones, you're going to go in at an A tier. You're a great receiver. He's fast. He's agile. I don't know anything else you could say about him. Now the Chargers receiver, Keenan Allen. B tier, pretty good, solid. Amari Cooper, S tier. He is almost carrying the Cowboys in wide receivers. He and Elliot, he, Elliot, and Prescott are like the big three. No one can compete against them. Now, number eleven with the Detroit. I'm gonna put him at a below average. Detroit hasn't been really getting that offensive game running. They can't find their footing. They can't get a start. You know. Michael Thomas, drop him in at that good, solid A tier. Doing well, playing well, all around good. I'm going to drop him along with, I can't remember his name. Okay, I feel bad now. Because they haven't really done anything substantial. Like, if I can't remember your name and your team was not that good, then you probably did bad. DeAndre Hopkins, A tier. Great court. Great wide receiver, great coordination, all around amazing. T.Y. Hilton, B tier. Good quarterback, and that he, ha he has a good quarterback. He plays well, he performs well, he acts well. Tyreek Hill, I'm going to drop him in here. To, I'm going to drop him here. He would be an A tier, but just because he is agile, quick, and has great hands. But he is not the best off the field as he is on the field, which can risk him getting suspended. And so, we're going into the, our presentation view. This is what we have. No one on these select small cast are just plain bad. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.